Hello. Can you hear me? All right, today's video, we're gonna talk about your feet and how to smash them, how to stretch them, and how to position them to help relieve lower back pain. If you do not think that your feet have anything to do with what's going on in your lumbar spine, you gotta watch this video. You're gonna learn something, you're gonna apply it, and you're gonna see results. All right, so we're gonna start off with smashing the foot out. Again, you're trying to loosen up the tissue. Um, a lot of times when you have been slammed in the shoes all day, they get kind of gnarled up and they get stuck in these positions. Um, and they're not, being, they're not used to being moved and mobbed. Um, what we're gonna use is a tennis ball. Um, it's way better using in this technique here. I have videos on here that you can look at that have to do with lacrosse balls and when and why to use those. But here, um, a video uh, made by a guy named Cairo Strength. You can check him out, his YouTube channel. It's not his name, but his YouTube channel is Cairo Strength. Um, he uses a tennis ball, and there's a very specific reason why. It's because what we're doing is we're trying to get the tissues in the foot to just mold over this ball and allow a softer um, tool to allow it to do it comfortably. You don't want it to be so sharp or so painful that you can't really relax, which is why we're using a tennis ball. Tennis ball or a racquetball will work fine. So the way I do it is I'll start right around my toes. Um, I call these the pads of your foot or the balls of your feet. Um, what I'll do is I'll start under my toes and I'll put my complete body weight onto that area and allow my, my foot to flatten that ball. And, and the key is I'm trying to work back and forth and kind of do it in rows. So what I'm doing, I'm going back and forth and I'm working my way down to right where that, um, your heel bone is. Then from there, I'm gonna work the sides and then be done. So again, coming here, going back and forth, back and forth, really trying to let my body weight fall into that ball, working up and down the arch like this, and on the sides as well. And I'll show you a little bit closer up now. And so the key is we're trying to loosen up all the tissue on the bottom of the foot using the tennis ball. Um, the way again I do it is going back and forth up and down and allowing, don't worry about hurting your foot. Um, unless you have super, super tight, super sensitive feet, um, this should be okay, even with like a racquetball, tennis ball, here's what I'm using. Um, pushing down hard and allowing that ball to really smash and knead all of those tissues out. All right, so we've smashed the tissues out using a tennis ball or a racquetball. Now we're gonna work on stretching the tissues on the bottom of the foot. Okay, because remember, tissues go from the, your toes all the way to the back of your head. So you have to think of it as getting as much movement in this area, starting with your feet and then working your way up. So from here, we're gonna work on extension in your toes, okay? So what does it look like? A lot of times what people do wrong is when they're going into this position and they're coming back, because they don't have that extension in their toes, they bring their heels out and then they sit down. Okay, so all this is getting stretched out, but your big toe is still getting locked up. So what you're gonna do is I'm gonna sit back onto my toes. I'll show you a side picture here. Um, keeping my toes nice and straight, keeping my heel aligned with the floor and keep it nice and straight as well. And I'm gonna sit back, keeping my heels either coming together or at least nice and straight with the rest of my body, okay? And I'll kind of pump, I'll go back and forth, I'll kind of come down here, 10 to 15 seconds, making sure that big toe's getting stretched out, coming up, big toe's getting stretched out. Um, so in theory, what I'm doing is I'm trying to mimic the toe off portion of a walk. If you don't have this, if you're not able to get to a point where as you're walking, you have your toe off, and you're able to get that kind of um, extension in, into your toes, you might wanna look at get, building some of that range of motion. So that's what you're working on with that stretch there. All right, so you've smashed it, you've stretched it, now let's activate, let's learn how to use the feet. Now that the tissues are kind of loosened up, the joints are kind of loosened up, we're gonna activate them and practice. This is not gonna be fixed in one day, it's something that you have to practice every single day. So what you're gonna do, the way I structure when it comes to re organizing my feet is I start with my toes. So I'll curl them back, okay, so that my, the balls of my feet 
the pads here and the pads here are the only thing that's touching along with the outside of my foot. So once I have that, I'll drop my bit, my small toes and I'll slowly bring my other toes down and try to have them spaced out evenly, okay? So it's not gonna look pretty for everybody, but the key is, is to have your toes as stretched and as spaced as possible. From there, what I try to think about is how I'm actually using the muscles that make up the arch. So the way I kind of coach it is think of this as a six pack. This is the six pack of your foot or the stomach of your foot. What you're trying to do, instead of just allowing your feet to collapse and you're stretching all this tissue out here, you're actually going to engage and flex and as if you're doing a crunch in your stomach, you're doing a crunch here. So you're gonna draw those toes in, do that crunch, the abdominal crunch of the foot and I'm gonna to try to keep the pads of my feet, the balls of my feet, and the heel touching the ground. I've got about 20 to 30% of my weight on the outside. Everything else is in my toes, balls of my feet, and my heel. And from there, all I'm doing is trying to make sure that my feet aren't collapsing, okay? Because in shoes, you don't know what's kind of going on. So when you're in bare feet, you're able to actually establish a good, toe spread and then you can practice and work on getting this arch here and what else you can do to help you improve this position is that when you're actually in this position once your toes are spread once your the pads of your feet the, the your heel is on the ground it's weight bearing everything's nice and nice engaged work on as if you're trying to engage your hips and knees and your glutes okay so what's going to happen is when my feet are positioned I've got that abdominal crunch or that arch crunch, whatever you want to call it, and I'm twisting, bringing my knees out, and I'm twisting the ground. So I'm trying to pop two pickle jar lids off of the jars. And what it's going to do is it's going to engage my glutes and allow my knees to come out straight. So it's a lot to think about. The key thing is just practice. It's going to be weird. It's not going to be natural. It's going to look weird. I've got super flat feet, so it's something I'm constantly trying to work on and improving. Best thing to do, my secret to this, is go barefoot. As often as you can, do not wear shoes. I'll go to stores barefoot, I'll drive my truck barefoot, I'll go outside barefoot. As much as I can, I'm barefoot, because that allows me to think what's touching the ground. I can feel when my arch is, I'm just being lazy and my arch is touching the ground, I can feel it, because I'm so used to engaging and allowing that arch to come up and using the muscles in my leg to support it. So over time, weeks, months, the muscles in your legs will get stronger and that arch will get stronger and you will not have to sit here and worry about naturally allowing your feet to do the thing and you'll be able to engage and use what's naturally already there to keep so My ultimate favorite last thing to do, once I've smashed it, once I've stretched it, once I've activated it, is I give my toes kind of like a self massage. Um, and what I do is my fingers, I'll take my fingers and I'll put it in between each. Boom each toe. So here, here, and I'll just use the tips of my fingers at first, here, and there. And I'll work this. Sometimes this is all you can do, okay? Um, as you get better, as your feet kind of a little bit um, more resilient and they become more flexible and mobile, you can get deeper in there. Eventually, what you're going to want to do is take it through some end ranges of motion, okay? Work your toes around, get that space um, at first this might have to be a lot of pressure on the inside walls of your toes totally natural um, don't expect to be able to do a bunch of crazy stuff at first but this is what you want to do sometimes just coming in here and putting your fingers in between your toes and just hanging out and just hold this and, and squeeze your foot together like the, or squeeze your hand as if you're trying to grip your foot and just allow those tissues in those joints to relax and you can kind of do some soft massaging, doing circles. This is gonna help with your toe spread, which is very important with walking, with standing, with, with using your feet and engaging with your everyday life is how much control you have over your toes and how engaged they are with what you're doing, okay? So this is, this is a super little bonus little thing that I like to do. Again, you're watching TV, just shove your fingers in between your toes, hang out, don't be crazy as far as thinking you gotta go to too intense, um, but if you can get your feet all the way in there, really try to work it around and try to just move and move 
the joints of your foot. And you'll, you'll, you're gonna notice a difference, I promise you, especially after the tissue release, after the stretching, after the activating, this is a good finisher. So again, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate everything you do. This is for you. Do me a big favor if it has helped you any. If you got one little ounce of benefit from this video, share it, like it, leave me a comment. This is very basic stuff. I try not to make it too complicated, so if it was, I'm sorry. If it's too simple, I'm sorry. This is not the channel for you. But if it is, subscribe. Check out the website, fitnessforbackpain.com. Tons of stuff coming out. Um, that's a wrap.